If you don't mind me asking, how much they get paid at the end of the game? How much money are you worth? Everything I get, I invest it. My dad helps. So what he does is, I just get paid. I give him the money. He invests it right away. He's my dad is crazy. He'll like double. He'll double. You know how hard it is to double your money in real estate. He does it within a year. I'm streaming stuff right now. How much you currently making? I I've seen people say I make a hundred million, ten mil, fifty mil. Now how much do you make per stream on the gambling? So the, the way it works, they give you money to gamble. No, no. It's like there's people who wow. make crazy, crazy money because they bring in so many views. I've never talked about something like this. Someone who helped me a lot was Aiden. We were longtime friends, and he saw the potential in me, so he knew he knew what I could become, and he knew like I could be this type of person. So really? Without him, I'm really, really, really nothing, to be honest. You guys still close now or no? Honestly, but what? When you say fine, good, like the end goal, like what's that looking like? One billion dollars? Okay, how much do I need to be comfortable? I would say, damn, you have some good ass questions, bro. I've never actually talked about this. So we came back, I was streaming at the Airbnb. They found my Airbnb address through a painting. They used Google search with a painting and they found the address. It was like eight black dudes with ski masks. They're waiting on top of the hill. So, and they had their cars ready to go. And they ran down the hill and just start stomping on him, stomped on his head. I thought I was dead. I, th I, th I literally thought it was over because I talked so much shit to so many people. I had to fire my other security guard because he was inside of the house smoking a blunt. He was smoking weed inside the house when, my, when I could have died. Bro, my number one downfall in life. That OnlyFans thing is, her shit's like kind of like a Welcome back to the show and thank you for returning back to the channel, the podcast where we discuss business, self-improvement and happiness. Guys, today I'm joined by none other than the 19-year-old Sensation. Neon Damn, thing. You gassed my head up, bro. Thank you, man. <laughs> well, Glad to be here, bro. I'm in bro. Dubai. I had to pop out on the podcast. I'm, I'm excited, bro. It's your second ever podcast. Yeah, no, I don't do podcasts at all because they don't get to see like this different side of me. So it, it, I, I just I make it rare. I, I Everyone asks me to go on podcasts. I say no, but <laughs> thank yeah, you, brother. I appreciate it. I, I wanted to hop on this one, man. Appreciate you, man. That means a lot, man. Thank you so much for coming on. Of course. So let's get straight into it. Welcome to Dubai. I mean, it's your second day here. How yeah, are you bro. Because I, I was stuck in LA. So for me, I've been LA, Miami, just the US. It's it's shit. So <laughs> compared to this, bro, it's like paradise, bro. Yeah. If I had to imagine heaven, it's this literally heaven, bro. It's amazing. <laughs> Love it, bro. What do you prefer more, LA or Miami? Honestly, like as of right now, none, bro. It's like it's so demonic and just yeah. bro, it's just everyone's fake there, bro. Everything's ass. It's overly expensive. Like, how is Dubai cheaper than LA? Yeah, true. The shit's crazy, bro. But fuel, petrol, everything's cheaper in Dubai than LA. Yeah. Like simple things in LA cost so much. Like water, like in Dubai, a bottle of water is always like one dirham, which is like what's a, know, what's a dir what's a dir one dirham is like uh, oh that's a currency here. Cents. I'm I'm still learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's not one dirham. It's like so one dollar is like four dirhams. Mm -hmm. So one okay. dirham is like twenty five cents. How Man. much is like a bottle of water there? A small bottle of water. Bro, I bought a bottle in LA. Like one time, it was like seven dollars yeah, for crazy. a small bottle. <laughs> yeah, crazy, bro. Anyways, so welcome to the show. Welcome to Dubai. We're looking forward. We're gonna have some. Fun time here in Dubai. Mm -hmm. You were I'm just excited. in the Philippines, right? Yeah, I was just in the Philippines. I was, I was like, you know, I had to get a little wholesome, do a little wholesome stuff. I was in the Philippines giving out money to kids. Ba like I was hosting Cute. basketball tournaments. Like Cute. I, I had to get some good PR in. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but it was, it, it was good, bro. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, you're with your um, girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, I was with her. Cause she's from there, so. Oh no way! I met her family and all that. It, it, it was cool. It was Crazy cool. meeting yeah. her family. Yeah, bro, I was nervous. Are getting I serious. was nervous. If they didn't like me, I don't know what I would, I would have done. But do they, they like watch me. your streams or do they? Yeah, no, they see everything. So like, they saw clips of me like like talking bad about her and stuff. So it was a little, it was a little, it was a little oh, weird. No. But they yeah. they love me. So but I'm assuming they're like kind of they're like open minded a little bit. Yeah, yeah, no, they know it's all for like it's all for the cameras, bro. It's like yeah. it's not really like what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Oh, so she still has a very good relationship with her parents. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But, which is I guess kind of rare in the, in the industry. Yeah, that's true. Especially for like what the stuff she does. Like usually, like their parents the just parents disown hate, them and shit. Them, but I'm yeah. I'm just being honest. But yeah. with her, it's different. Like, her parents are really cool, like, down cool. to earth. I love them so. Yeah, it is what it is. But even I got a good relationship with my parents. It's nice. he, like before when I first did this type of stuff, because like I'm crazy, bro. Yeah. I'm like literally crazy. So when I first did this type of stuff, they were they were just all like so negative about it. My mom like once told me she was like, "You're not gonna like I don't want you under my roof if you're streaming." No so way. it was like a whole thing. But then. I just took off with it, and they, like I, I put it in their heads that it's like a reality TV show. It's not, it's not real. Like it's a character I'm playing. Like obviously, like it's a little bit of me, like talking shit, whatever. But like it's a character. It's not mm -hmm. real. So once they understood that, they're like, all right, we get it. It's a yeah. TV show. Yeah, yeah. And your mom's like Muslim. Yeah, yeah. Dad. Muslim family, really bad. strict Muslim. So it was hard at first. But your family name is Singh. 
Is that correct? No, that's not even true. Oh, that's it's, it's just what I say on the internet. Ah, it's not true. No one, know, no, I, I, a few people know my last name, but I try to keep that. Okay, I try yeah, to keep, keep that the off. government name. Yeah, bro, because yeah. these ki- these kids are weird, bro. They'll find your like these grandfather. Kids, bro, they found my old address and I had to move houses. They swatted me, bro. Yeah, crazy. So it was it was bad. Yeah, no, but because I, I was wondering, because I know Singh is not a Muslim name, so I was surprised yeah. when they. Like, I, I heard you're Muslim, and I saw, I was surprised. But yeah, that's funny. So why Singh, and why Neon? What's Neon? Neon. So. Honestly, there's no meaning behind it. I was just in theater class as a kid, and I just randomly came up with the name of my friend. But the Singh name, it's like the typical Indian name. Marketing-wise, it just, it just sounds good. So. Oh, so you're Indian? No, I'm not. But I'm not. Damn, that, that, I, I just exposed that too. I'll just, I don't care. I'll say it. Yeah, I'm not Indian. I'm, I, I, I'm from Pakistan. But, no way. Yeah. In the mud. <laughs> but my, so, I sacrificed my life for Pakistan. Bro, it's people have been comparing. <laughs> it's bad, bro. But my dad w- is far, like was born in india so i i, I just say i'm indian but uh, i'm not okay, really but it's ca- but you know pakistan and india they're once like one country and i mean they hate not, each other not, now not in our heads no no of course of course they hate each other now and politically there's huge yeah there's a huge divide between them but in terms of just geographically mm-hmm. they were 1.1 country you damn know? my god I need, so, you know it's crazy i didn't even know that yeah yeah they were. <laughs> i didn't even know that bro i'm, yeah, a, I'm yeah. a little stupid <laughs> in the head no bro well you're a smart guy bro for 19 year old you know when i first sat down with you guys we had like a few minute chat before while the cameras were getting ready and i actually kind of got a glimpse of the real neon which is what i hope to show you guys today here but actually very calm like i noticed like, when the camera snaps and the energy comes yeah and i get it because people want to see energy they don't no want one to wants to sit me just like no one wants to see me sit here and i'm just like calm, yo what's man. going on guys damn bro my life is yeah. so good oh my god i'm so happy like it's, <laughs> yeah. it's ass like you gotta have energy you gotta <laughs> you gotta amplify it a little bit bro yeah yeah i think that's what what like why do you think people are so drawn to watching your videos you know like what is, it's even though it's they're hating, it's so entertaining to them to where they just want to watch. Like they want to keep watching to see like the next dumb thing I do or like the next stupid thing that happens or the next time I freak out or like, it's just. I feel like I've I found a way to keep them attached into the content and make them want to just keep coming back. But do you think they they like you? Or do you think it's all haters? <laughs> Honestly, it's weird because on the internet you'll see all these hate comments and all this stuff, and then I go in person and everyone's so nice. Everyone's so polite. We love you. You're so funny. Oh my God. Let I me mean, take you a make pic. them laugh. So that's the, the, yeah, so that's like, I'm positive. making them laugh even though they hate me, but I mean, it's entertainment at the end of the day. So. Yeah. Do you feel like your content should kind of have like some kind of good message to it? Like, you know, because obviously there's a lot of people that believe that content should kind of bring some kind of um, mm-hmm. value or like inspire I feel them like to do better. Or in my head, happen. in my head, all I thought about was entertainment. Entertain, 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 yeah. make people laugh. But now like it's, it's gone to such a big scale to where like, I honestly should start thinking about a way to like send a good message while entertaining. It's hard, but like, I, I, it's definitely something I thought about. Mm, interesting, interesting. Yeah. But, and all right, interesting. So you know, this podcast we talk about like business moves mm-hmm. and stuff like so that. So this, you know? this is a little weird collab. No one's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what yeah. am I gonna talk about? Like how to make a company or something? But shit? bro, you make you make money, bro. At the end of the day, you make you you raking in like the, the cash. Like yeah, you know? I mean yeah. It's it's not like all about like you know. Um, it's not about like my my bodyguard and this and that. Like we mm. know we know you're raking in the dollars right now. So talk to us. I mean, like one thing you told me. I don't know how if you wanna like if you wanna talk about this, but mm. I found a super genius the way your your marketing strategy works. Yeah, and about the clips and stuff. Is yeah, that- I can I can talk about it. So um, the clipping Discord where there's like there's like a, a three hundred to four hundred people Discord, and then it's for YouTube, Instagram Shorts. Um, TikToks, everything. So what they do is they just they, they post the videos. We pay them a certain rate per 100K, and it just keeps them motivated to keep posting, keep posting, keep posting. And without them, I will be nothing because all that matters is the clips, the TikTok clips, everything because everyone's just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. So it, when they see me on there, they click on the streams, and it just traffics it to my kick. So it's, Wow, amazing. It's, and it's, you set this up by yourself? Yeah, bro, yeah, all by myself. And then I have like a moderation team that helps me too. But And they check that each video because someone could just what, – what, what about someone who buys – let's say, for example, they buy 100K views on the video. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, we, we, ch- we checked all the videos make sure it's all legit real and then you like reject the comments and stuff yeah exactly the interactions yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so easy to tell if it's not real so everyone gets paid i make more money i get more big it's it's a win-win for everyone and it's like these 400 ki- people huh yeah and these kids like there's people who make 20k like every two weeks like there's people who wow. make crazy crazy money because they bring in so many views because they're just good at it they know they know what will get attention they know what to clip they, so it doesn't matter which platform it is as long as they get hundred thousand views they get a certain amount yeah exactly is it the same amount if they get it on Instagram versus yep, TikTok? Yep, same thing every, everywhere. So we're covering all platforms. So not just like TikTok and that's it. Reels, everything. So where I'm just, my face is just everywhere. That's interesting, man. 
it's bro, honestly the best thing I could have ever done because yeah. it's the only way for you. Know, you really how much do they get paid at the end of the How you much do they get paid? You so never know. Maybe, maybe some people are watching this. They decide to become your Clippers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not true. Um, so right now it's we it, like it it's changes. Right. Usually it's like twenty per hundred k, but right now we're twenty dollars. Like, yeah, twenty dollars. Oh. We've gone up to thirty sometimes. I used, I started at like seven dollars, and then like <laughs> when I first started, and I was just giving a few thousand dollars a month. But now, like for example, I paid them out like a hundred forty k for a month, total. Hundred forty thousand dollars on Clippers. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Crazy, but it's it, genius. It's yeah, and that that's when they brought they brought in. So like this past month, they brought in like seven hundred million views total that's crazy, across man. all platforms. So it's, it, in my head, it's worth it. I'm thinking long term. Course, like I don't. Yeah. I'm thinking so I don't like you know build a long term money. Yeah. I make I'm making money now, but it's just it's all about long term growth because it's easy to blow up, bro. But like the hard part's just keeping it. Yeah. Right now, your main money comes from like. Kicks like yeah, I mean I don't I don't get sponsors for shit because yeah. the stuff I do, but yeah, but just you, kick. you you don't have a plan to like make your own brand or your own consumer. I want to do that. I want to make my own products, like make an energy drink, do all that stuff. But it takes time, and I'm lazy. So you're not lazy. But I you're mean, on the grind, twenty four seven. I mean, you can say that, but like I it's, gotta take some accountability. Like I, I could be streaming every day. I stream like three times a week. So I I honestly oh, am, I stream three times a week. Yeah, not so I'm day. not I'm not streaming every day. So I, I am a little lazy. Okay. But. Okay. It's just, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm a kid, yeah. I just want to live life. You're 19, so did you, like, you just dropped out of university one day and said, like... No, so, um, I didn't go to college, but that was another thing, too. My mom wanted to kill me. No college. She was, like, because, you know, like, we're brown, Muslims. Like, you don't go to college, you're a disappointment, you're a loser. Like, you're pathetic. So, yeah. it was just something that, like, I didn't even go to my last two years of high school. So, it was just something that they, like, I mean, I just said, I, like, I put my mind to it. I was like, I have to do this. I can't do this while I'm in school, so... I just took, I took a leap of faith and here we are, here we are. But. Nice. So like the before the kick deal, you were just streaming on Twitch. Twitch, yeah. And your main and revenue came from the, the donations. The crazy part is before, before kick, I took an eight month break on Twitch. So I was gonna, I was gonna stop. That people don't even know this. Damn, that's crazy. It's the first time I'm talking about it. I was done. Um, I was done streaming. I was like, I'm gonna go to college or whatever. Do this, just chill no on the way. side. And then um, someone who helped me a lot was Aiden. Do you know Aiden Ross? Yes. Yeah. So. Of course. Um, he like he was like no I'm gonna help you he put you on like he got me in calls with because you you know obviously Tate all these people uh, Adam twenty two like why would he do that for you huh why would he do that because we were longtime friends and he saw the potential in me so he knew he knew what I could become and he knew like I could be this type of person and b get to this size so like I I mean I, I, all thanks to him so really without him I'm really 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 nothing to be honest really yeah damn but it's rare in this I thought in this influencer world you don't see anyone who actually tries to help someone else like. Yeah, no, he went out of his way to help me out, and really, yeah, because yeah, he, he really saw, he saw the vision for him in that, right? Or yeah, no, no, he yeah, he already made it. He already had his money. He already had everything. He, it was just something that he was like, I want to help you. Um, you're funny, and he saw the potential. He just he knew it would happen. Yeah, and you guys still close now or no? Honestly, not really, not really. We don't we don't, we don't talk that much anymore. But um, I still I still have so much love for him. So, but why? Uh, we had it like so. Damn, you don't you don't know about any of this? Damn. So we just right, had a yeah. little bit of a. I thought you guys were boys. Yeah, no, we, I mean, we've been boys, but just for the past, I would say, like, few months, we just, we didn't see eye to eye on some things, and we just, it, it didn't really work out, um, you know, we, we weren't talking or anything, and it was, it was, it was, it was honestly kind of beef. But no, no, no specific, like, no reason. I mean, there, it's, 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 it's a few reasons, but it was real, it was beef, he didn't, like, he didn't really like me, he would, like, talk, talk bad about me and stuff, but I think, like, as time's going on, it's more, like, we're just clearing it up, we're just, we do our own thing, it is what it is, time, thing. time, letting time heal it. Okay, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Yeah, man. But you, you still like him. You still have. Of course, man. Of course. Okay, of course. I'll so never, I'll never forget the things that these people have done for me. Like, that's, I, nice, that, yeah. that, that's just, that's just. At that point, I'm a fucked up person. Yeah. Like, I'm a bad person. So. No, it's nice if you also like, you know, like you decided to come here on the podcast, and like, you know, like a lot of people would like try to just maximize the mo the most they can get from someone without like trying to actually mm -hmm. add value back. So you yeah. seem like the type of person who's like, you know, you're looking out to help those who help you. You know. And stuff yeah, like that. of course. So, yeah, so hopefully with Aiden it will like fix over time and stuff like that. As long as like I think after you know someone for like a long time and you guys know that fundamentally there's nothing wrong with each other, like both of you guys are good people. Yeah. Then a uh, small argument here and there yeah. doesn't make a big difference, you know. Aiden was your closest friend. In yeah. Streamer. Who's your closest friend now? In, like the influencer world, streaming world. Um, streamers wise, I mean, honestly, I don't talk to too many streamers. I mean, I have like this like Sneeko and all of them, but like I mean, we don't talk every second. It's just really like my boys that my, my child like not childhood friends, but I've known them for like five six years. Who the, ones uh, outside? the, the black dude out there? Yeah. <laughs> he's your brother. Yeah, I love him, bro. So that he's That's like nice. just, just someone who's always by my side. So just he's not a my circle's either. really tight, bro. I don't really nice. talk to people at all, at all. But he's not a streamer. 
Uh, he used to be. He used to be a streamer. He used to stream. He was he was huge. We so we did like an e date thing at first. So like he would put me on dates, and I'm like this nerdy Indian kid. So it, uh, it worked so well. It was a it was a great recipe. And then he was like the the black dude from New York with the with smooth the, with the, yeah the, yeah like the he, with, the, with the tips and shit. He got the drip yeah. and stuff. So <laughs> it was just it, it was a perfect combination. So that's how it started really. And um. Yeah, he, he stopped streaming, but he's always here helping me out, looking out for me. Does like, he come appear in your streams or? Yeah, yeah, he'll come on my streams too. So okay, it's so cool. your fans know him. So it's yeah, like yeah. your stream is kind of like he's like a character on your on your show. Yeah, yeah, and then I, yeah, I have a bunch of people who just come on, hop on the streams, and just chill. Nice, nice, cool. So he's like your own, only friend. Then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of depressing to say, but no, I mean like he's close, a, he's close like best like best friend, close friend. Yeah, I would say that. But, I mean, one. I obviously have my other friends who are just like a lot of people too behind the scenes that people don't know of. But so yeah, but influencer wise, you're not really close with anyone. Like close, um, close. I mean, Bradley Martin, I'm cool with him. Sneeko, um, I mean, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of influencers talk a lot of shit about me, so it's like, it's a little like hard. Speed, these guys. Kind of speed, I mean, I've only talked to Speed once, probably off stream. I don't, I don't talk to him. I told, I, there was a clip, I told him to kill himself, so it what? was, I, I was trolling, because it, uh. it was when his, his meat got leaked on, uh, on uh. Twitter. I was like, it's not going to get better, man, just end it all. I was joking, but he, I think he took it literally, but... <laughs> I mean, I, Kai. So you you spoke to Speed off camera. Yeah, once it's it was me, like me, him, and Aiden one time. But he's not in the normal calm. Is he? Uh, I mean, for the, yeah, for the most part. I mean, it was on Facetime. He's secondly. sixteen, right? Something Speed? Crazy, no, he's eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, he's so eighteen. Crazy though, he's yeah. eighteen. Yeah, crazy. That yeah. dude. That dude took over the world. That dude took over the world, man. Yeah, and Kai and. Don't really talk to them. I'm really doing my own. I'm solo, bro. It's like, it's like me versus the world. I feel yeah. like in my eyes. Interesting. So. Yes. Cool. That's just how it is. Yeah, and and okay, if you don't mind me asking, uh, from like your let's see the streaming and stuff right now, mm -hmm. how much are you currently making? Because I know most of these kick deals got revealed. Was your reveal public? Yeah, or no? No, that's one thing I would never say. But but they, I mean, everyone. No, sees because it. normally the numbers are like public, like some some of these deals, like yeah, no, but they, but it's capped though. It's not real. Like, oh, really? like, like I've seen people say I make a hundred million, ten mil, fifty mil. Like no one really knows. No okay. one will ever know. No one will ever know. But you don't do the stake stuff. Um, I, so I, what I did was I started it and I did it sometimes. I'll do it like once every two or three weeks, but I don't really, I try to stay away, bro. Mm. I try to stay away, but they give you so much money for that. Yeah? Dude. Yeah. Gambling's a fucking crazy bag. Oh my God, bro. Holy shit. I'm just like, just thinking about it now. Like, damn, I could be sitting here in like a $10 million house just chilling, but it's just, but I try not to. How much you make per stream on the gambling? So they, the way it works, they give you money to gamble. No, no, they don't. So you gamble your own money and then they just, they give you the money per hour to, 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 uh, to promote okay. it. But they the, I love those people over there. So it's Eddie and all it's them. The same that, same owners, right? Of yeah, same owners of Kick and Stake. They're amazing people because they they were paying me since the start when I had a few thousand viewers, to one, two, three thousand viewers. They're still paying me good money, and they believed in me, and they they, yeah. they, they they trusted the process. Nice. I love them. Love them over there. That's crazy, man. Um, so the the streamers that, anyways, forget about the streamers for now. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the girl. <laughs> <laughs> so you got you met your met her parents. Has she met your parents? Mm, they, they, I mean, they talked on the phone, not in person though. Not in person. Yeah. Why not? Actually, no. Wait, no, no. She's wait. I'm tripping. No, she's met my dad. Okay. But it was like for like, like thirty minutes. How did that go? Honestly, um, do they know what she does? Yeah, yeah. They know. Yeah, they know what she does. They know I'm trying to like dance around. Uh, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> they know what she does. Yeah. So it's like, it's obviously like a like Muslims don't really like you know, but she. She wants to get away from it and doesn't like. She sees like the bad in it, and it was like so. How I put it, bro. Age? I turned up, huh? Is she your age? Yeah, she's yeah, she's twenty. She's about to turn twenty-one, uh, April fifth. But I feel like in my eyes, I'm like turning a whore into a housewife. So like, I mean, it's it, 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 it's fucked up to say, but like, she was like her her past self. It was it, it was bad, bro. It was bad. And then <laughs> now she's like sitting housewife. here, like doing laundry, cooking, like being wow. a, like just helping Tradition, me out, huh? helping with my stream ideas. Very like she's true. she's doing everything. So she's I'm, I'm transforming her. It's like and she's helping me too. You're she's doing God's work, huh? God's work, <laughs> literally. And then. In return, okay, like, yeah. she's, I mean, like, I really, I really, I really like her. So, it's so like. you got to make her quit. It's great. Yeah. Um, when is she quitting? Huh? When is she quitting? Why isn't she quitting? No, when is she? Oh, when is she? Coming soon, I think. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly. Tell her birthday. Birthday finished. Birthday <laughs> Game over. It's, yeah, that OnlyFans thing is, it's, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't like it, but. She started it before she met you? Or like yeah, yeah, way before, way before. Okay. That's why she was, yeah. But how old was she started? Way before? Like 18. Before 18? <laughs> yeah, so I, was, I met her six months ago, so uh, she was 18. And then, but I mean, her thing, like, if it was straight, like, nudity, like, crazy, like, her, like, I mean, I don't, I, do, do you talk about whatever on this? Like, anything. Bro, if she's, like, sitting there, like, fingering herself or some shit, I would be like, no, but, like, it's, like, it's, like, her shit's, like, kind of, like, it's, like, Instagram pictures, like, bikini pictures, oh, but that's still. It. There's no nudity. 
Yeah, no, no, she doesn't show anything, but still. What? Yeah, yeah, no, no. And she's still making money, money. It's crazy. No way. Yeah, so that's why I don't feel like a crazy way about it, but obviously still like still like showing your body she off. She never showed like the actual no. parts. No, 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 no. She ah. hasn't. The day she does that is the day I, I say fuck you. But <laughs> she would never. She, she, wouldn't, she wouldn't do that. But Interesting. That's why I even like gave it so a... So how did she, well, why do so many people want to buy her OnlyFans then? Is, like, is she famous? Was she famous before she met you? How did she I mean, yeah, she still had her, yeah, she still had her name and shit. But I feel like, I mean, obviously, I built it up more because she was with me, and then like now people want to see her because she's did with she go me. On fresh but, and fit? Huh? Did she go on fresh? Yeah, and she fit? went on fresh and fit. She went with Myron. Yeah, you know Myron, right? Yeah, he came on the show actually. He did? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh damn, it's probably yeah. boring. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, Myron. I love <laughs> no, you, man. He's funny. Guy. I love you. I, I, Myron's funny as fuck. I, I love him, even though all the shitty talk. But yeah, he he <laughs> all the shitty talk. Yeah, but now nah, he yeah he um. He went on, yeah, she went on Fresh and Fit with him, and it, it was, bro, it was back you and forth. You were there back. on it? That's yeah, cool. no, I was there. I said three words, bro. I was just sitting there staring into space. I didn't know what, I didn't know who to defend. I didn't know if I should defend her or him. I don't know what to do. So, But, I mean, you're on his side, technically, because you don't want her just to do that either. Yeah, but he was saying it, and he was like, he took the wrong approach at it. And then she, I don't know, if you ask anyone, I think she won that. She Really? Yeah, I mean. Has, it, usually, Myron destroys these debates. Oh, yeah, no, he shits on them, especially the OnlyFans girls. Yeah. But. I don't know the way she did this it one? and the way she said it. I don't know. She's just, she's smart, bro. I'm gonna be yeah. honest, bro. That girl's smart. Really, huh? So the way she was saying shit, I think I think she won that. Crazy man. I mean, look, I have to say, like, from my opinion, like, obviously, like me, I'm I'm quite like um, religious to a certain degree. Like, pray mm-hmm. five times a day. I try my best to be as on being as I can. That's good, man. So I, for, for me, of course, like, I would say, like, as a brother, like, try to like you know, yeah, to fi- to to you know <laughs> make it as best as you can because like. And then the other day, like, look, everyone has their own relationship with God. And for those of you who are telling you, like, this and that, I mean, it's between you and God, right? Yeah. But, yeah, like, I think, like, you guys are already doing very well. I think she can easily get a kickback, become a streamer, mm-hmm. you know? Just yeah, no, that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to stream and get out of the other stuff. Because that's, cause that's easy. It's even better for her. Like, just, I'm sure she feels like it's degrading, you know? For yeah, her no, of person. course, yeah. And stuff. It's just, like, the, 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 the whole... Uh, Stigma of OnlyFans girls. Yeah, you know? bro. Like the, the second you hear OnlyFans, you think like a girl getting like yeah. penetrated in the butt. Like it's just. Yeah. It's but just, also for you, like you don't want to be saying like I'm dating an OnlyFans girl. You know. What yeah. I mean? No. Yeah. And I agree. I agree. <laughs> it's, it's, there's definitely a bad look around it, and it's, it's it's something I had to deal with. But I mean, she's working on it, so it's like yeah. I could tell. Like there's. Does progress. it get to you though when people tell you like you're dating an OnlyFans girl? Like, Honestly, at first, bro, the comments I was like, uh, I, 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 I was just done with you it. You guys bro. are real, real, like dating fully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, off like, camera, you guys are like. Yeah, yeah. No, even like two months. Love each other. Yeah, two months. You get married, huh? You'd get married. <laughs> Damn. No, I mean, I, yeah, I, yeah, we'll get married one day, one day. But I'm not thinking about that right now. I'm only 19, man. I'm just. I'm still well, a young you know guy. we are. We're, we're, we're traditional Muslims, but we get married at like 21, 22. You yeah, have, no, you have siblings. Yeah, yeah. I got one brother, one sister. Elder, younger. Uh, older sister, younger brother, and then. Elder my, sister's married, right? I assume. Nope. How old is she? Uh, she is. Shit. Oh. Um, Mid twenties. I don't think. Oh, I fucking him. She's uh, damn. I think she's like. Twenty two. <laughs> yeah, but I I'm think, sure your parents are already thinking about marriage for her, right? I don't even know, bro. I don't really. I mean, but you know, mostly in our culture, you know, like if you have cousins or stuff, people usually get, get married pretty young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. That is true. But I mean, we do live in the U.S. though, so it's a little, mm. it's a little different. If we were in, if we were in Pakistan, if I'm sitting back in Pakistan, she'd be she'd be married at like 16, bro. But <laughs> does she wear hijab? I think. No, no, no. She doesn't your wear mom? hijab. No, she doesn't wear hijab. Okay. Your mom and dad pray five times a day. Yeah, my yeah. They they they're actually really like yeah. They're really really strict Muslims. So it's but, like but they don't do the hijab. No. Okay. They don't. And but, you pray five times a day. No, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I've honestly, I, one thing I will say is, um, like the past like six seven months, I would say I've definitely like not been the best Muslim. So I haven't been like praying. I mean, I obviously I go to Jummah, but I mean that that that's like come on, like you still got to pray five times a day, like yeah. all that stuff. I can't even fast because my health. So I have like really bad stomach problems, and I've been uh, lo- no no no. Listen, let me, I have a stomach disease, like an actual oh, disease. Okay. So it's like and What's then the I'm, disease? Uh, Crohn's disease. Crohn's. Crohn's disease. Yeah. So it's like and really bad inflammation in my stomach. So. I've been losing really, really bad weight. I weigh. Guess how much I weigh. Guess. Just looking at me. How much do you think I weigh? Sixty. Huh? Sixty pounds? Sixty kg. Oh, it's one hundred twenty pounds. One hundred fifty. One hundred twenty. Twenty. Damn, that's close. I weigh like one thirteen, one fourteen. It's bad, bro. But you know why I know? Uh, I, I was exactly sixty kg before, and I look like you. I seriously? Like you. Yeah, I show you. I show you photos. You wanna see? Yeah. I, bro, I look. Wait, like, how old are you? I, I'm twenty one. No, I'm saying how old were you when you? Oh, uh, bro, like just two, three, two and a half years ago. Two what did you do? Just hit the gym. Yeah, I did a lot of gym, a lot of like, uh, so there's these shakes you can get, which are like, uh, called, they're called mass gainers. And basically, like, I had trouble steroids? eating. Steroids? No, 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 no. Oh, shit. <laughs> no steroids, no steroids. Bro, I'd look like Bradley Morton if I was on steroids. <laughs> I, it's, it's just like, um, 
it's it's basically a powder because I, 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 I couldn't eat a lot. Okay. I didn't have a big appetite. Mm-hmm. I would get full fast. Yeah, I don't have a good appetite either. Yeah, so it's like a powder. It's like 1,200 calories. Mm-hmm. And it's just like a milkshake. And you put the powder in your water and you drink it and bro, you get so full. And it has like 1,200 calories. You get carbs. fat or you get muscular? Uh, that depends on if you're working out. Uh, but you put on weight. So if you're working out, you'll, you'll see the, the added weight. Damn, in that's muscles. a cheat code. Yeah, yeah. I, bro, it brought me from 60. I was exactly 63 kg, which is like around 120 pounds. And I went from 63 to now I'm 81. But wow. I, I didn't use mask the whole time. I used mask like two times. But it's, it's, it's completely natural. It's basically just as if like you take like a bunch of food, like put it together and put it in a milkshake. Mm. That's basically what it is. It's completely natural. Uh, but yeah, let me just show you a quick picture. Screen so you guys can see as well. Oh wow! So you see, bro, like I had to like, fold my my pants, otherwise they used to fall off. Damn, but so, I mean, you're still like, bro, you got a six pack still. I mean, I mean, bro, look at bro, that's not you can't compare that. Look at me. <laughs> but this was this was like three months of gym, two two months of gym. So I had that, that but you can see my, my 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 wrist like, it was like. Oh yeah, no, you're a tiny as shit. Yeah, Damn, you're, you're yeah, as skinny as like, me. You know, I messed up. I was like very insecure. Mm-hmm. And gym had changed my life, so. I think this gym and, and spirituality, to be honest, like, I felt like, oh, oh life, what is I didn't know what I was doing here. Yeah. You know, like, life is meaningless, like, what am I, what's going to happen when I die? Damn. You were thinking, kind of thinking that way? Yeah, I mean, like, not every day, <laughs> but, you know, once in a while it hits you. Yeah. And then you're like, shit, like, what am I, you know, one day you're, like, in the shower or something, you're like, what's all this for, you know? <sighs> we all die one day. Existential crisis, you know? Yeah. So, that was basically some of the stuff that mm, turned my life around. Um, how much money are you worth? <laughs> how much money am we I worth? We ask this question to everyone who comes up. We asked Myron. Uh huh. What did Myron say? I don't remember. I think he told me around two million dollars at that time. When was this? Uh, like two years ago. Why is that less or a lot? Oh, less, right? okay. So well, it's probably way more now. Yeah. I-, I was thinking Myron's worth like fucking like ten mil or something. Damn. Really? Yeah. I think I I don't remember. I'll find the clip. I think he said three million. Three million dollars maybe. Um. And, but yeah, but then he has some stuff which you can't really equate, like the value of fresh and fed, like, mm-hmm. you know? Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. How much am I worth? Damn, I don't even know, to be honest. But I mean, damn, money talks, I'm, I'm not trying to get caught by the IRS, man. Yeah, yeah true, true, true. I don't really, I don't really, I'm really say anything on it's that. It's fine, you don't, you don't have to reveal it. You don't have to reveal but, it. But um, I definitely, one thing I will say is so I had like, everything I get, I invest Multi-millionaire in, though. Huh? Multi-millionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I do invest everything. So everything, my, my dad helps me. So I don't even like go through any, because I, I used to do stocks and Does like that crypto. Work for you? Huh? No, no, he just helps me. He's, what does he do for a job? For he, he's this real estate. He just does his own thing. So he, real estate? Yeah, yeah. He makes money? Huh? He makes money? Yeah, no, I, I, I do come from money. I, I'm silver spoon. Really? I, I will say that. I am silver spoon, yeah. <laughs> but so what he does is I just get paid. I give him the money. He invests it right away. He's My dad is crazy. He'll like double. He'll double. You know how hard it is to double your money in real estate? He does it within a year. Wow. And like it's. That's crazy for real estate. They get like 6% return. Yeah, no, no. It's it, it, He 12%. finds the best deal. Like it's. It's my does like the fixer uppers. Like he buys like something, he fixes up. Fixes yeah, no, he yeah, no, he's crazy. So he's like he just helps me through it all. Doesn't even take a dime from me. He just helps wow. me as my dad. So it's just, it's great. So I'm investing. So like, bro, How tomorrow I could fall off. Tomorrow I could fall off and lose it all. Tomorrow kick could like you never know what could happen. And like he's setting it up to where like I'm I'm gonna be good. I'll yeah. be fine. I'll be straight. When you say fine, good, like the end goal. Like what's that looking like? One billion dollars? What's that? Okay, how much target? do I need to be comfortable? I would say if I can hit. Well, all right, what about for you? Let me ask you that. Well, I, I want to be a billionaire. Huh? I want to be a billionaire. A billionaire? Yeah, I Bro, want to. Right, that's I don't just need. crazy. But like, I don't need. But like, if for me, my, my idea is like, if I'm going to have a goal, I may as well have like the biggest goal. Like, what's the point of having like a 50 million goal? If you're going to have a big goal, just have like a massive goal. Like, and right, well, my, is, if you have a huge goal, like if you fall short, you I just want a, real, I want a realistic goal though. Like that, like. Whoa, what's. Bro, what are you saying? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Bro, a bill- <laughs> how, how much is a billion? Like nine hundred. That's like nine hundred ninety-nine. Yeah, mil- a thousand millions. Is that even possible? Oh, bro, come on. There's people worth hundred billion. Th- 130 Ser- billion. Wait, that ass? Yeah, bro. I, bro, bro, I did on. not know that. That's crazy. Damn, I didn't even know you could have a billion dollars. <laughs> no, that's crazy. What? Um, no, I've but- interviewed many, many on the show who have set the same chair. Like just two weeks ago, the guy who sat in the same sh- chair is mm-hmm. worth like one point eight billion dollars. Forbes, like proper Forbes billionaire, crazy. Like you should have kept him in the room, held yeah. him hostage, bro. <laughs> Shit, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. I would, for me though, like a realistic goal. I would want and then be set and done is like 50, 25, 50 mil. Eh. Bro, 25 mil, you hit that in like one year, bro. 50, I mean, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's just, that's how much I would need to be to, to retire and be happy and be like, all right, I could just chill and live life and be but happy. But do you think that's your end goal? Or do you think you'd want to retire and just chill? Because I feel like, bro, when you start to be on the grind, it's once you turn on that switch, it's impossible to turn it off. Because there's a time when like, if you're sitting for too long, there's a certain radar that'll start ringing in your head that's mm-hmm. like, I need to be doing something. Yeah. Because you've, You've made yourself like that. Like you want to feel productive. I mean, you want to feel I, useful. I, I don't know what's next for me. So I mean, streamers like obviously I'm not gonna be relevant for like ten years. So 
I honestly Unless don't know. Unless you're Drake. Huh? Unless you're Drake. Yeah, literally. But I'm, not, I'm nowhere near that. So it's like, who knows? Like, well, I mean, whenever my time is up streaming, it's up and I'll, I'll go into the next thing. But I mean, my main thing is I want to just build brands, build products. So I need, I need to start. But. Yeah, that's good. Bro, that's easy. You don't even need, like you said, you're lazy. Bro, you don't need to like do the whole thing yourself. Yeah, just get like, people to pay people to do it. Pay or like partner up with someone. Yeah. Like this huge e com. Like we did, we did something for Larry Wheels. Uh, you know Larry Wheels? Larry Wheels? Yeah, he's Bradley Martin's friend. Big guy. He's a bit dark. Uh, nah. Five million on Instagram. American. Okay. He's LA. He's Bradley Martin's friend. Mm. Larry Wheels. Huge. Like, same, like, kind of like similar content to Bradley Martin, like gym content. We built him, like, a store for, like, uh, it was like liquid chalk. You can see he follows it on Instagram. It's called Try Quick Grip. Oh, wow. But the point is, he doesn't have to move a finger. It's and just, it's just his name behind it. And he, yeah, yeah. Where he just gets, like, a massive percentage, you know? Or you can do a, yeah, <laughs> something else. But what? I, don't, I, don't, I was going to say you can make a crypto token, but I don't recommend that. A crypto what? Token. I don't recommend I'm that. I'm not going to lie, bro. I might have to, bro. Hit, hit a lick on all the, all the kids and leave. Yeah. <laughs> bro, that, I, bro I, I've heard some crazy shit about crypto, bro. You can, make, you can make so much money. Bro, literally, if you made a coin, how many followers do you have on Twitter? Twitter, I think only uh, like only like 100K, but active, like engagement's yeah, active. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I think you can make like, like at least five, six mil. Of yeah. a crypto coin? Yeah, yeah. Well, least, like, I will know. I go to jail? Yeah, 100%. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, because in US it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a it's wait. A, why can't I just move to somewhere else and do it? Yeah, if you, you know, but your passport, yeah. Shit. Yeah, they're yeah. very strict. Maybe you just make it for me, and then yeah. we just yeah, that's under, the, under the table. I, I, yeah, I don't know, but I would do it. <laughs> but someone will do it. <laughs> but bro, like you I, always get caught, bro. Like it's you impossible. always get caught, and I don't believe in like doing like a pump and dump. You know, like yeah, if you I mean, want you're, to do something, yeah. it has to have like some kind of utility. Because if you do a pump and dump, bro, imagine like, a bunch of people just get scammed. Yeah, it's fucked up. I mean, I, I've seen so many people do that type of shit. So no, but you feel bad. Like, bro, imagine having all the money, but you don't, you're not able to enjoy it. You don't sleep at night properly. Like, bro, would you be able to sleep at night like, if you knew like there were like hundreds of people there, their lives? No, and car- I mean, karma would just hit me. God would do its thing, and like one yeah. day it'll just lose everything. Like, it's just, I, I feel like if Even I Even if some- karma doesn't hit you, like, bro, you feel like the pain of it. Like, I feel like. I wouldn't feel right. I, 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 would not, so? I wouldn't be able to pump it up. Yeah, you have, you ever, have you ever pumped and dumped? No, 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 no. Damn. <laughs> Why would I, pump and dump? I don't know. I was just asking. It seemed like I knew too much about. Yeah, you it, knew right? a little too much. I was a little, I was a little, I was a little curious. <laughs> uh, no, no, bro. Did you really get jumped or just bullshit? Uh, bro, jump. just bullshit, bro. No, no. I swear to God. So I'll explain. I'll explain that exact night. I've never actually talked about this. Okay, so. Wow, this, bro, you're giving me so much excuse to Yeah, bro. Yeah. So <laughs> this is how it went. We were streaming at the Airbnb. I got. I just got back from. You know who Crip Mac is. Okay, I was with a, uh, some, some, some dude, all right. And then we were at Universal. We came back. I was streaming at the Airbnb. They found my Airbnb address through a painting. So they, they, put, they used Google search with a painting, and they found the address. Ooh, and there was oh, six fuck. black dudes with ski masks. Or no, it was, like, it was like eight black dudes with ski masks. They were waiting on top of the hill. If there were any ski masks, how do you know they were black? You could, you, could, you could just tell. Like, I mean, <laughs> like the, 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 little, the little shades I'm of black everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But, um, so, and they had their cars ready to go. So they, what they did is they ran, we, I went in my sprinter van. They ran down the hill and then my manager was outside and then they ran after him and just start, start they, st- they kept stomping on him, stomped Where? on his head. On your manager? 30 seconds, yeah. For 30 seconds, they just, what? yeah. So it, it was crazy, bro. Why? Huh? Why? I don't know. They were just like, they. I, I, to this day, it bothers me so much because I have no idea. But that's who did not the it. video. I was talking about the video of you in the park with the shoes. Oh, 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 oh! You're talking about that? Oh, that shit was fake as fuck. But this is real. What's this? When was this? Yeah, you don't know about this? No, when was this? It was on stream. I got jumped on stream. I had like a hundred k viewers. It was crazy. When was this? Uh, this was like a few months ago, like two, three months ago. Damn, bro. Two, three months ago. And crazy. you have no idea why? No, I, I don't know the people who did it. I still don't know to this day. We asked we, the police. It, it was crazy. There was helicopters everywhere. It was. It was a whole thing. Police came and took them. Huh? Police no, no, the police came, but it was LA, so the police came like 20 minutes late. It was, it was, it was far gone. Left. Far gone. Nobody phoned over. them to know. Yeah, but the... the, the, the they the got beer, away with it. Huh? They got away they with it. They got away with it. Don't know who it is. It's, and but, they hurt you? Huh? No, no. They, the crazy part, I thought I was going to die. The sprinter door was open, and they ran right past it. They didn't see me in the sprinter. They were coming for me. They screamed my name. They didn't see me. They, Bro, and like, it's LA too. I thought they had guns. Did out they the, scream your real name or your... No, screen? Neon. They're like, like, Neon. Like, they're just... Uh, the video is there's like actual footage of it. It's crazy, but um, yeah, they, bro. they missed you. They went inside the house. Yeah, no, they missed me, but no, but my, because my manager was right outside of the van, and they found they knew he was a part like of my stuff, so, so they found know. him too, and then they went for him, and then and then after they, so they stopped on your manager for twenty minutes and left. Yeah. By the way, that guy right there. Remember, I said my, my my best friend out there, uh, for five years. He's the guy that that locked the door, so he closed the sprinter van, ran away, and locked the door so they couldn't get in. I was outside, in front of him. Huh? And then he ran away. So he didn't get inside the sewer van. He just kept you inside, locked in, and he yep. ran away. Wow, that's a real one. Yeah, crazy, bro. Because if, he if he's outside, he's vulnerable. Like, yeah. You know? No, it open. was, yeah, no, it was, bro, crazy experience in my life. 
I, like, I looked at everything so different after that because like that's what I thought I was dead. I thought I, th- I literally thought it was over. Bro, of course. Because I talked so much shit to so many people. And, and you saw like them beat up your body right in front of you, like uh, your manager. Did this? No, I saw them run right past, and then right after that, the door closed. But it was like a slow, and it was a slow ass door. It was closing slow as shit. It's but like they, they recorded. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that's printed. And then there's one guy in the back recording. So I don't know if they got paid to do it. I don't know what it was, but it was crazy. Insane. It was crazy. But the, the one you're talking about, yeah, it was fake. <laughs> But now I'm interested in this one. Fuck that one. <laughs> but but so so you, you, how did you know they stomped in your 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 manager's head? Like he, he saw a video of it? Huh? He, or he told you? No, he told me. So and then like he was like all bruised up everywhere. It was it was it was crazy. So and then he's we still, went. He's still your manager? Huh? He's, he's still your manager, bro. I would quit after that. <laughs> <laughs> you would quit? Ah, uh, bro, I was just got stomped in the head, bro. Yeah, no, it was. But then he had his he had his hands like this, and they were like honestly like they they could have done so much more, but they didn't. So they just did it like they, they went there. They want that. They just wanted to. They just wanted to, yeah to, to scare. I think to scare me. They just wanted to scare me. But uh, Crazy. whoever shit. it is, if you're watching this, you're pieces of shit. You didn't get me, so you look just, you just look stupid. And that's when you hired the bodyguard. No. Oh, and it gets worse. I had to fire my other security guard because he was inside of the house smoking a blunt. He was smoking weed inside the house when my, when I could have died. Damn. Shit. He, he was not on the on nope. The Crazy, bro. Crazy. That, that that guy's gone, bro. That guy's gone. Never again will I ever. Have a security like I make sure my security is on point. Jack Doherty's uh, bodyguard. I actually didn't talk, say talk about Jack Doherty. Are you close with him? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. But I mean, I mean, people think we have problems, but I don't. I don't really have a problem with the kid. I mean, he's he, super young, right? How old is he? Yeah, bro. He's he's like he, I think he's the same age as me, but he's like oh, okay. one thing I will say, bro. Even though I don't I don't respect what he does and like the whole OnlyFans shit and like taking percentages of girls and all this stuff and like like that's bro. Oh, that's but, what he does, huh? I didn't even know he does that. Yeah, yeah, that's what he does. But I mean, I he, but he builds them up, so it makes sense. Like he's building them up, giving them a platform. But the thing is, bro, that kid makes a bag. He makes, he knows how to make money. And he's been here for a while. Like, since he was like a kid, he was like, on yeah, like, yeah. Before, before when Logan he, Paul's, yeah, even before the OnlyFans stuff, the YouTube, he was doing good, and then now he this stuff, and he, he makes money. He knows how to really, really make money. So, I mean, I don't respect it, but hey, shit, man, I can't hate on it. How much do he makes? I mean, I know he make, he makes, he definitely makes millions a month. Yeah. Millions a month off of just that, and he doesn't—he doesn't really do shit. He just lives life. But I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. What drives you then in life? What drives me? Deep one. As as, do you, is your real name real name public? Oh uh, yeah, Mikhail. Mikhail. As yeah. Mikhail, what drives you in life, bro? What drives me? Damn. Honestly, well, like what keeps me going? What does keep me going? It's I'm like, like it gets hard. It gets it definitely gets hard. But one thing that keeps me going is just when I see. Cause I have like a little community, right, of these people. So when I see like these people and I make them happy and they and they and like seeing the support, and then seeing my parents happy, what like seeing what I've done and then like how like I'm making money, doing so good for myself, and then like especially especially when I go back home too, and all these like people, like my childhood friends and everything, they're all like they all praise me, they're so like happy for me, and just seeing the amount of people that I've made happy and and proud, it just it, it makes me it makes me want to keep going and keep trying. Cause I mean, it came too far, can't stop now. Mm-hmm. So it's just like I got I got to keep going. Keep putting on, especially for the brown people too. There's no, there's really no brown streamers out there that are really big. There's none. I mean, brown rappers like that, like there's Nav. Like Nav, Nav. Yeah, everyone knows fucking love Nav, bro. <laughs> I mean, but I'm, I'm so biased because he's brown. Like all these brown people, like they walk up to me, they're like, "You're putting on for the brown people." Like whether you're Indian, Pakistani, whatever, you're brown. There's that one guy who's so funny, Just Rain. Do you remember Just Rain? Just, Just Rain. That guy, who, who he had, he was like, a, he had the head. Uh, the, the real thing, like he had like this head thingy, right? Nah, you know? I, I don't no, know. Zed Ali, Zed Ali. No, damn, I'm not tapped in at all. Yeah. I don't know Those these are, people. brown YouTubers? Don't know damn, them. I don't know. Superwoman? I, Superwoman was big. I don't know. <laughs> don't know Superwoman. She has like 20 million on YouTube or something. Damn, crazy I, I don't know who any of these people are. Yeah, but they were like... They, they, yeah, they, but like they, streaming, they, streaming oh, wise. Though, streamers, I mean, Vicstar. Vicstar is a big name. Vicstar123. Yeah, Vicstar. But... Have you met him? Nah, I haven't. That do would you, be a good collab. Do you speak Urdu? Huh? Do you speak Urdu? I understand. You speak Urdu? I speak a bit because I've uh, brought up in Dubai a lot of Urdu. Kesayatike? Huh? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> I just I don't know how to respond in Urdu, but I, I understand Urdu because my respond. my grand how would I respond to that? Uh, I, I don't know. Tiki, tiki. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What you said? Your grandma? Uh, yeah. My grandma uh, speaks in Urdu, so okay. they live in uh, Islamabad. So. Oh, nice. Have you been? Yes, bro. I bro. When I go back there, it's like it's just a it's like a reality check. I love it, bro. So nice over there, bro. Everyone's so like just seeing that that part and like seeing what people go through and stuff. It just it it. It really like humbles me, and then I don't know. I love it there. I love I love my country. So interesting. 
You would sacrifice your life for Pakistan. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> you like Imran Khan? Do you know Imran Khan? Imran Khan, yeah. I mean, I don't know about the politics. I, like, every time I go to my grandparents, my, my, my grandpa's like they just, just staring at the news 24-7. I don't know what's going on. He's like, like Shouting at the screaming TV. at the TV. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. But like, there, he's deep in. So deep in. He loves Imran Khan. I know that. He loves him. Yeah. Loves him. He, I think he would literally die for him, I think. Like, Bro, but Imran Khan is, is like a... You have to respect them, you know? Yeah, Library, I don't, I don't I think, know shit about think, So basically, this guy, he went to, like, I think, Oxford or Cambridge, one of the best universities in the UK ever. Mm-hmm. And he comes from money. Mm-hmm. Like, his family, like, have, have money. And, like, he, he made money. He was a cricketer, one of the biggest cricketers. Okay. So he had, like, fame, money, everything. And then he basically kind of, like, sacrificed his life for the sake. And, like, a lot of people have mixed views on him. Personally, for me, like, I respect a lot of the stuff that he's done. Mm-hmm. He basically sacrificed his whole life to, you know, in Pakistan, they, they, there's a, there tends to be a lot of corruption, yeah. you know? The presidents, they embe- embezzlement. Yeah, there's like some one guy. I don't know his name, but he was like, who's the guy? Some, 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 some like really corrupt guy that was just the pre- the prime minister or some shit. What? Yeah, I don't, I don't say the name because maybe, maybe I don't wanna like. Come it. on, don't come on, say it. Was, I, I actually, oh, you, I actually don't know which exact one you're talking about, but they all, they all, they all, they all took. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. My, my grandpa was telling me, but I was I, I just zoned out when he was talking. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know which one he's talking about. So, uh, but they, they, they were all like kind of like. Basically, all of them were corrupt, you know, in some mm-hmm. degree. And he's or the only one that's a lot like of corruption. And and he was the one who was like trying to like be the people's person, like help the poor people. And basically, all the other governments hated him because mm. like he was like too, you know, too. I guess he was like the opposition, right? So they put cases on him, and he kept going, and he could have. St- they, they they kept telling him. Oh, they're trying to put him in jail. Yeah, and Damn. they kept trying to make him stop, and bro, like death threats. Uh, uh, military came to his house and didn't he get him shot. Out. Probably, bro. Like crazy shit. <laughs> Probably. And they kept telling him, like, you have to step down. You have to step down. Mm. And he still hasn't stepped down. And bro, he had everything in life. He had money. He had fame. He was probably well respected. But like, you know, in Pakistan, if you're, if you're a good cricketer, yeah, you're just the, you're the, you're they, it. Like you're, they you're, meet right you're, you, yeah. You're as big as you could be. Uh huh. So he said, no, I will not stop until I fix the trajectory of Pakistan. You know, and uh, basically he sacrificed his whole life because, uh, and then now he's in jail. Wait, wait he's in jail he's right in now. Jail right now. Yeah. What? As, as far as I know, he's in jail right now. Yeah. So like bro, Damn. He, he didn't free stop. him. Yeah, free, 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 free him. Khan. Damn, he, he didn't stop. I've never talked about something like this. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, free him. I didn't even know he's in jail. Damn, I'm not tapped into my country, bro. Uh, as far as I understand, he's he's in he's in uh, prison right now, from what I've heard. Um, but they were trying to get him in for a long time, and uh, uh, he's still in jail, as far as I understand. Yeah, it's saying that he's still in, still not released. Damn. Former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan jailed for fourth time. Wow. So they keep putting him in and out of jail. Like he goes inside, people protest. The whole Pakistan gets upset. They release him and mm-hmm. they find some other bullshit to put him in for that side for. Damn. But at any point, you could have said, that, "Okay, look, I'm moving to X and X." And country. he still won't stop. I respect that. Damn. Yeah. yeah free, maybe I could. Maybe I could run free for Palestine. president. <laughs> what? Free Palestine. Free pa- Oh yeah, facts. Free Palestine. Are you for Palestine? Of course, bro. Nice. Of course. Well, well, you want me to not be like? I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I don't know. I guess in the US, I thought like everyone was kind of like, um, not everyone, but like a lot of people who were like very. Yeah. In it, Pakistan, the interesting, if you have a Pakistan passport, the first page of your passport says, this passport is valid in every country in the world except Israel. You know that? It says that in the passport. A Pakistani uh, can never enter Israel till the day he dies because it says in his passport, this, this passport is not valid. It's illegal to, like, it's, it's not, ten, like, it's in the document. They won't let you in. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. I did not know that. Like, from Pakistan's side, like, Israel might have allowed, but it's in the passport that's not it's not valid. Like it, it, the, the passport physically doesn't work in Israel. That's crazy. Yeah, That's it says crazy. like the first page. Damn. So they're you learn, very. Learn something new every day. You seem yeah. like a smart guy. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm kind of interested in politics. You know, geopolitics. It's all kind of interesting, especially like it all comes to do with from history, and then like now you see the patterns. And yeah. What What's one lesson you wish you learned sooner in life? <sighs> um. Honestly, bro. One thing I would say is I I should have lived in the. Mo- I shouldn't like. Er, Mm, you worry a lot, huh? You should live in the moment. You worry a lot. Yeah, bro. Overthinking. Over, Overth- bro. Mm. My number one downfall in life: overthinking. Ever since I was like first started, bro. Too, bro. Bro, overthinking has fucked me, bro, so bad. And like, I just didn't, I don't realize like how blessed I've been and how, like that's all the cool stuff I've done. I didn't live in the moment. I just keep thinking, what's next? What's next? What's next? And then like, mm. what what if there's no next? Then what? Yeah. So it's like you haven't been enjoying yourself as much as you can. At, yeah, at all, bro. At all. All I think about is streaming, stress, making people happy. That's all I care about. So it's like, I wish I, I wish I learned sooner that I should, I should not be thinking. Has about. it become better now, or it's still like as bad as it was? That's before? pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Still no. Huh? Yeah, no. I definitely overthink a lot. Damn, but you don't have a similar problem, bro. 
But I, I think like it's also our biggest I mean, strength. It's our biggest strength as well. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's you get so good ideas, right? Huh? You get good ideas. Yeah. Because, you know, your mind is thinking a lot. Bro, like randomly. I can't stop thinking. When you're asleep, like suddenly you can't sleep and you get such good ideas. You write them down. Yep. And, you know, that happens to you. Yeah, no, it does. So like, but I mean, yeah, overthinking. But I mean, sometimes it's good to overthink. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes, like, it's better to overthink than to not think. To underthink. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and then you just turn into a retard and just do dumb shit. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. Are you, are, are you like, do you, would you ever like see a therapist or something for that? Nah, that's gay. <laughs> that's gay, bro. Like, if you need a therapist, you're generally just like a, a loser. I, I think there are some benefits to it. I don't know. I've never I, tried it. I, 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 I just I don't see the benefit in paying in paying for someone to talk to you. Like, I do. Maybe, maybe talk to like a friend or some shit, like a mom. That or, like, sounds a, dumb for sure. But you know, if you could get someone that could actually tell you like, let's say they could sit with you and say like, Neon, you overthink. Yeah, like, I'll talk X. to my friends or my parents. But right, but your friends and parents don't have very actionable advice for you to actually overcome it. They could tell you like, yeah, they give you sympathy. But actually, yeah, like, steps to yeah. remove it or reduce it, that could be interesting. I think it's worth giving it a shot, even though I don't believe in therapy. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of therapy, but I believe that it's... I watch a lot of Andrew Huberman, if you know who he is. Big neuroscientist, famous <laughs> guy. He's a famous neuroscientist. Anyway, yeah. he talks a lot about the advantages of actually, like... No, obviously, when I say therapy, people just see it from the movies. You know, you sit with a shrink and you just, like, tell your problems. And then she's, like, a coke addict and you end up, like, effing her. <laughs> That's what happens in the movies, you know? They just... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm talking about more from like, you know, like the actual, like someone could come into your head and tell you like, okay, look, do this. Do that. that is true. Yeah. yeah I mean, I've yeah. never tried but it. But that's, I'm, I'm interested. The good thing you're self-aware of it, you know, many people, they have these issues, they, they're not aware of them, you know? Yeah, no, I, I definitely know all my issues, but. Are you able to celebrate your wins? Celebrate my wins? Yeah, like, are you able to feel proud of yourself? Or do you always like think like, oh, it's not that good enough, next one? No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm never happy, bro. It's another problem too, bro. I'm always just, I'm thinking, what's next? What's next? How do I get more, more, more? But is like, everyone like that, like in the streaming world? Or is that, you think that? <sighs> yeah, bro, because like, all right, so you go viral, whatever. You're, you're on top of the world, whatever. Well, how do I get bigger? Like, mm. I'm not, you're never, I mean, it's not good to be comfortable though. So it's, it's not bad. I think what you need to do is also you need to have one platform where like you, 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 because obviously the clips are and great and everything. The Twitch is good. The, the, sorry, the kick. Mm -hmm. But you know, obviously you can't collect as many, a big number on quick kick. So I noticed your Instagram is kind of small. Like it's like 600K. Your Twitter yeah. is quite small. If you were to like I don't, build, bro, that's my thing. I'm not active on any socials. Yeah. If you build one social up, YouTube, how many subscribers do you have? Uh, like 850k or something. Decent, decent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I see you're uploading pretty consistently on YouTube. Yeah, so the, but those are just stream clips, so it's not yeah. even like actual YouTube videos. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, clips. Yeah. yeah, so I think Instagram, like, because it's pretty easy stories. Snapchat. Uh, I, I literally just started recently. I need to get active on the socials, bro. Yeah. That's my problem. I, I don't even. Then you can let's say you have like six million on Instagram or mm -hmm. like two million on Instagram. It's kind of like a safety net. Yeah. True. Whatever happens, like, bro, if you become irrelevant, like, you do a few. Instagram ads like bang energy mm -hmm. promote their Instagram page. The typical, the typical, <laughs> yeah, the typical you know, ones, bro. You can always like just call up bang energy. Like, look, I have two Fashion Nova. <laughs> I have two million. Instagram. Oh, they reach out to me, Throw Fashion me Nova. Yeah, no, yep. <laughs> Throw me a bag, you know, because right now like the clips and stuff, it's views, but it's on other people's channels, right? Like it's on random. So yeah, at least if you collect them, then it would make more sense. So that's uh, smart. Yeah, but overthinking. Uh, also, what I I've done, but that helps me help me. I write down. Like, have you tried writing them down? Because, bro, when it's in your head, it like, keeps going on. But if yeah. you write down, like, you feel like it's not in your head anymore. True. Like, um, like, like you, like, physically write yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, write it. Like, I have a journal. I have a journal. Always. Not always, but, like, good amount of the time. I write down the thoughts, especially the ones that are, like, the, the problematic ones. Because, bro, think about it. Like, if I, if I give you, if I tell you to do uh, 5 plus 5, mm -hmm. 10, yeah. right? Okay, 5 plus 5 plus 10 plus 20 minus 5 times by 6. 25. Really? No, I don't fucking know. <laughs> but the point is, like, we have these complex problems. We try to solve them in our head. We can't. Yeah. So in life, we have these huge complexities, like so many variables. Each person, you have to think about all these different things. And we solve them in our head. We can't. Yeah. You write it down. You look at it from distance. Then you can solve it, you know? That is true. Damn. I always thought, like, a journal was gay. But, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah, it's like, dear diary. Yeah, like, I'm just writing down my thoughts. Yeah. I'm depressed. I'm going to fucking kill myself. Like, but I mean... But you're not, are you depressed? No, hell no. Okay. Hell no, bro. I'm, 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 I'm happy and grateful, bro. I'm, I'm trying to live life more now. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm here in Dubai. Like, I'm... I'm yeah, exactly. It's, it's going to be a fun trip. Yeah. Make some W's. Yeah, <laughs> some W's. Yeah. 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 You, don't, you, don't, you don't do any drugs, yeah? Nah. Zero. I mean, no. Okay, I, I've done... I mean, on stream before, I was with Ruby Rose, and like, I like, hit the blunt. And then, um, Don Tolliver... With a rapper. What's Don Tolliver? Oh. Oh, I know the guy. Yeah. I thought that was the substance. No, no, no. no. Why are you laughing at me, bro? No, my, my, bad. my culture. My bad. No, but yeah, no, I, I, I hit the blunt too. So smoked weed on stream. Okay, but weed only. Yeah, but I, I try not to inhale. I was just trying to like look hard. So I was just smoking like... But so you didn't get high? I mean, I, obviously like a little, but... No, not I really. Tried, I tried not to
In the moment, I'm not gonna lie. I, I really? did kind of enjoy it, yeah, bro. I'll be honest. I've 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 come close to one time, and mm-hmm. from the background smoke, I've got it high. Mm-hmm. So I've been high. Uh, I didn't I didn't enjoy it at all. Damn. I didn't enjoy it at all. Damn. I felt like it just made me tired. Yeah, so no, it does. Really it definitely. Yeah, no, I definitely felt tired, and like I, I wasn't thinking straight. But. Yeah. So then, like you, you don't like like. I don't know if I in my head I was always thinking like if I wanted to feel like this I could just like not sleep two days and I'll feel like the same way you know what I mean like it's not a it's not a feeling that I'd want to feel yeah I mean? especially for like the stuff you do it doesn't make sense yeah like, bro, same like, with me like it is I can't be tired. you need energy yeah yeah exactly. literally yeah so it doesn't make sense and I have energy so it's not even like I need a substance for that you know I have coffee energy drink I don't really do energy, energy drinks, yeah straight no yeah that's my that's my shit energy drinks Red Bulls right before a stream pop energy drink I'm good yeah, prime prime energy oh yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah prime energy. Maybe they maybe they want to you. Oh, you you met KSI recently, right? Yeah, I met KSI. That was that, that's why I, I really fuck with KSI. That's like a that's because usually like the streamers and the YouTubers don't really show me love. So when KSI, you know, he he like agreed to come on my stream and he was like, you know, just like being cool, mean shit. It was fire, bro. It meant a lot. It was fire. And he's yeah. an OG. OG. Yeah. OG. But you see the crypt like he's getting some crypto allegations. I don't know if you saw that. KSI. Yeah. You didn't see? He's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> you know, coffee's in it. Coffeezilla. Coffeezilla the, oh, the exposed page? Yeah. Yeah. He made the whole video on KSI. Damn, I've just never, like, I didn't see like that. two weeks ago. I'm not tapped into the crypto stuff, so. Bro, full video about like, because he did the same one about Logan Paul, which like, she made a huge impact. Damn. You know, crypto zoo. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. And now they just made one on KSI. Like, they showed like a lot of wallets. And I met KSI in person. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like I met Logan Paul. Very oh. nice guy in person. Like, he was really like, genuinely felt like a good guy, you know? Yeah. Like, kind, sweet. But I mean, the crypto stuff, if you see, it was kind of like, um, you know, like, I'm, I'm not, there's no other way to say it besides the fact that it looked like he was selling what he was promoting. Yeah. But then again, it's always like, there's always two sides of the story. And yeah. I haven't heard his side properly. So I'm not going to judge him directly. You know, in Islam, you have, yeah. to, you have to give some of the benefit of the doubt 70 times before you judge them. That's the rule. 70? Yeah. Damn. So you must say, you must Who give, made that rule? Yeah, <laughs> Prophet Muhammad. Oh. He said, you must give someone 70 excuses. So you must say, like, for example, one, uh, he didn't know what he was doing. To someone told him, someone made him do it. Like you have to come up with seventy before you. Seventy. Yeah. If, but to be sure that it's. it's I have a question. So, yeah. do you know? Have you, did you memorize the Quran or no? No, bro. No. That's crazy though. I I know some people that have. That's crazy. It's like. A, that's something, bro. That's like my dream. But like, because even like understanding it, like I don't really un- like. I, obviously, I can read it. Like I've I've, I've rather I finished the Quran like three times, to- two two or three times. Wow, really? Yeah. Mashallah. So. Um, I That's went for Omar too, but I, like nice. there's, there's just some stuff I want to I want to keep doing. But this is like this the was Quran. You read ago. the English; it's very very interesting, bro. So yeah, that's, I've never done that. I, oh, I've just bro. read the, the Arabic, and that's it. Yeah, I don't Arabic even know what I'm reading. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the good thing is, it still makes the effect on you. Mm-hmm. So even when you don't understand it, it's still like God's listening. He's gonna the effect. You're still gonna get the positive effects. Yeah. But if you don't understand, it's better to read something that you will understand. You know, mm-hmm. like put the English version. Some ayahs, bro, they really like change your perspective. Like you'll be like, damn, like this is like. Like, bro, before, like, Iman Gadzi and, like, all these self-help people have come out, mm-hmm. a lot of the stuff he, th- that's written in it is, like, the stuff to follow, you know? Yeah. The real, like, I don't know. I don't want to say, like, Red Pill because, like, I don't want to associate it yeah. with <laughs> that. But, like, I mean, like, the real, like, uh, self-improvement mm-hmm. stuff, you know? Who's your biggest rival? Biggest rival? Yeah. I don't think I have a rival. Um, so, yeah, you mentioned, um, you know, obviously that stuff you did, the Tates blew up. Mm-hmm. Um, does Andrew inspire you in any way? No. Obviously, you can't. no. <laughs> nah, really? not really. Not really. But you never watched it, like an Andrew video and been like, "Damn, that's some good advice." Because I can't tell if he's serious or not. Like, I don't, I don't know if he's like if he actually means it or he just. I'm talking about some of the specific clips that were like that are like uh, like self improvement ones. You know. <sighs> Have you watched like, any of his? Yeah, no, obviously, videos? obviously, bro. He, bro, he was all over before he got banned on TikTok too. He was all over like every second. Scroll Tate, scroll Tate, 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 Tate. That's why I discovered him first. Yeah, because he, he was everywhere. Stuck with me. Huh? Some of that, some of that advice really stuck with me. Yeah, no, no. Some stuff is definitely motivational, but then like I hear other stuff, and I'm like, I, I don't know, I don't really. Yeah, but I mean, like if we were judging from out of context clips, then you would look like an idiot as well. Yeah, no. Right? So I mean, yeah, true, true. But so you you don't you don't have like a certain affinity towards him. Like, do you like him? Honestly, yeah, I do. Okay. I do. I think he's funny too. He's funny as fuck. He's 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 definitely. Bro, for funny. how you treated him on the video, he was still nice to you. Like. And no, I know, I know. And like, you, you were like just like. And back then, back then, I will say too, I was definitely trying to get a reaction. It's like yeah. I, I I was talking. You're in a playing certain, character. Yeah, yeah. So it was, and like he still he still didn't come to talk crazy to me. He was he was he was cool about it. So. Do you have contact with him? Uh, Tate now. Zero. Nah, 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 no contact with him. I've DM'd him once. It was um. It was after the jump video, the the jump video, and then he he wanted to like fly me out and or some shit, and then he he like DM me once, and after to that give you training, yeah, okay, and then he he DM me once, and nothing happened. Why didn't you go get training? 
I don't know what happened. He just it just it just never happened. It's just like I said I said let's do it or whatever, and then he just nothing. So. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe I'll talk. I'll talk to him. <laughs> I'll tell him like, bro, make it happen. <laughs> it's close, Romania from here. A few hours. Seriously? Yeah, four or five hours. That's it. I don't want to die in Romania though, bro. Romania is dangerous, no? <laughs> no, it's okay. You oh you've been there, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's no, it's pretty safe. It's very safe actually to be honest. Romania for Europe. Is, very it, safe. is, is it like nice or is it shitty? I look, it's not like the most like beautiful, beautiful European country. It's kind of like boring. But okay. yeah, especially like, I don't really like go, go clubbing and stuff. So it's like pretty dead. I think they're, they're kind of, uh, but safety wise, very safe. Like there's a police every road. You feel very like, you don't feel like anything bad's going to happen, you know? Mm-hmm. Probably safer than LA for sure. Oh yeah, no, LA's dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Miami, I, when I went to Miami, I was with uh, Sneeko, with Luke Belmore there, mm-hmm. Nelk Boys. I actually helped when Alboys came to Dubai I took them around, around Dubai if you watched the Dubai vlog uh-huh. I, I took them everywhere but um, yeah in Miami I noticed like when you come out from the street there's so much energy like you walk out like Brickle for example there's so much energy in the streets Brickle I don't know I don't like that area bro you don't like it huh no I don't like Miami I hate Miami really huh I hate it bro uh, maybe because the I, I like the like the beach the calm stuff maybe you're like in the very like toxic type of Miami <laughs> yeah yeah probably I don't know I went to dinner one night it was in poppy steak and I was like damn like every celebrity was like on a, on a table beside me I was like mm-hmm. Jesus crazy Miami it's like but uh, I think that was like UFC weekend that's oh why. that's why yeah it made mm-hmm. sense um, but yeah you should think about moving out to Dubai like tax reasons and stuff yeah no tax bro that, that's literally like a reason itself and it's just Bro, there's so much to do here, bro. It's so I, I love it, bro. I mean, I, I've only been here a little bit, but even like what I've seen online and shit too, like it, it just it's a whole different vibe, bro. Like I went to the mall today, and it's like it's not like the typical like LA mall where you just see a bunch of hood people and shit. Like it's just like people who are actually like you know like I, I, I don't know how to say it, but they're like like uh, youth, like just chill people. Yeah, chill people, and like actually people who are not like just just like, people with money too. Like it's, yeah. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just it. it, it Did you get I, recognized? I, I feel, huh? Did you get recognized here? Honestly, at the mall. Only a few times, bro. I think it's the outfit. Because you, 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 you look like a very, like, Arab, like, or, like... Seriously? Pakistani. Yeah, but you... Yeah, because, like, usually I go to the mall in the U.S. It's crazy. But, like, here, only no, a few people. I think people. it's the outfit. Because right now you're blending in completely. Like, you have the Rolex on, but you look like a typical, like... You know, yeah, like, I just Arab. look like a normal brown yeah. person here, but... Yeah, like, you look like everyone else here. But I think if you wore, like, a... If I had the camera, too, then they would probably yeah. understand. Because like, you're yeah, very well known in Dubai. I know this for a fact. I'm what? I am? You're very well known. Yeah, yeah, neon. Like, I've heard people talking about you a lot and stuff. So, yeah, I think, like, because um, not many brown people as well, like we said. You said earlier when we were talking about, uh, we talk about self-awareness, you said you know your flaws. What are your biggest weaknesses and what are your biggest strengths as, as Mikhail? <sighs> I'll so you can start strengths. strengths yeah. Biggest strengths. Um, damn, I don't think I have any. <laughs> Shit. What are my strengths, bro? Oh, I'm yeah, trying to so think. Like, in, like, personality traits? Damn. The fact that I need to think about it this hard is bad. <laughs> no, bro. But yeah, you should, you, should th- you should write them down or something. I don't even you know. Like, know. like I, I literally, I, I can't even say. What are my strengths? I'd say you're, you're punctual, bro. You reach your exactly on time. No, I'm, bro, I am always late, bro. I'm late to everything. Every single thing. I'm, I'm surprised I came here. On, I came here on the dot. On the dot. But no, the, I'm man. never like that, bro. I'm always like an hour late, 45 minutes late. But you're like, you had to get, like, you know, we had to do some time. So I, I made the effort. But like, bro, usually, like, I'm not punctual at all. I'm lazy, bro. Like, eh, there's so many bad traits, bro, but I'm, yeah. it's all stuff I'm working on. Yeah, so. but bro, you need to give yourself some credit, bro. I was like, for a 19-year-old brother, you're killing it, man. Like, think about, like, you're definitely... I can say like, I'm smart. I mean... You're the 1% of the 1% of the... You're the richest 1% of the richest 1% of 19-year-olds in the world. Like, that's a fact. Like, Damn, that's crazy. Like, probably, like, if you go 1% of 1% of 1% of 1%, that's probably you. Because, uh, yeah, 19 year olds, bro, like, you know, so think about that. I mean, I think you have a bright future ahead. Thank you, bro. Um, Thank you. Yeah, Thank you're, on, you're on definitely on the right track, bro. Like, it's crazy. Like, because, like, bro, like, for example, where, like, I, when I think about my life, I feel like I'm successful. So you should definitely feel like you're successful. So well done, man. Is there anyone that inspires you out there, like, that you, that you know? Anyone that inspires me? Honestly, I mean, it's like a typical answer, but, like, definitely, like, my, just my mom. Your mom? Like, yeah. Are you closer to your mom or your dad? Closer to my mom and my dad. Right now, because my dad's, like, so, like, invested into all my stuff. I mean, I obviously talk to my dad more, but, like, my I love my mom so much. She's, like, she's always, 
she's so, she's so independent, always working so hard, always like, so do? nice. She like, huh? What does she do? So she she works for the government. So she she's been she used to do real estate and stuff too. She has a senior thing. So she does a um she has a group of seniors. They don't pay them or anything. She just does it out of the kindness of her heart. Volunteering, huh? Volunteering. Yeah. So, so she made like a, a group of seniors, wow, nice. fifty seniors, and she hosts events Sounds for them. Like my mom, yeah. Like she like does so much for them, pays like just does so much for these seniors, and she doesn't get anything out of it. But like she's just such a kind person. Like she doesn't even. I mean, her herself, she doesn't make crazy money. Like my dad, obviously, yeah. But like she. And like with the little money she makes, she just it goes right to them. Like she she just wants to help them and like just help people. That's all she wants to do. So so nice. Even me, I think I'm a bit closer to my mom. I feel like I've been like a mommy's boy. Yeah, I mean, my mom's because when I was sick too and I couldn't go to school, so it was like seventh eighth grade. I couldn't. I, I physically could not go to school because how sick I was. I went with her every. Like she used to. Um, she was running a preschool one time in her life. So I was. I went to, with her every morning and we would just talk all day. And it was. Just, I'm, I'm really really close with her. You're fully open with her. I feel like those. You know, I feel like as you get older, you realize like the all most of your friends are like temporary. And you can have like one or two good friends, mm -hmm. but most of them are temporary. Especially like now, like at this point, it's impossible for you to make a good friend now. Like I'm sure you feel like the time for making friends. Oh yeah, friends no, no, is no. Done. I, I don't think I can make any like really, really. No, no, no like, you can't. Yeah. And your best friends, I think you realize like your mom and dad, like th those two are really like. Yeah, family, the people that will never leave you, ever. Yeah. Family. Yeah, and your brother and your, your are you close with them? Your brother's. Yeah. Sister? Yeah. Uh, sister, I mean, she's she's been co she's been in college the past few years and stuff, so not really my brother though. Yeah, I mean, I try to talk to him. It's it's hard though, like to stay in contact with all my stuff going on, but. Yeah. Like but when I go back home, when I go back them? home, it's back to normal. So do it's you like, spoil them? like I wow. try to, I try to, I try. Do you spoil yourself? I see you wearing a Rolex. You buy like a lot of cars. I didn't buy this. I didn't buy this watch. My Sam girl bought me this watch. Who? Sam, the, the girl. Oh, the girl. Yeah, she bought me this watch. Really? Yeah. Damn. So, bro, just look, look, look. So you know how I said I've been losing weight. So it's not cap. Look, this shit used to be tight on me. Now it's. You see how loose it is? Damn. It's like I'm just losing weight, bro. <laughs> losing weight. But yeah, that's fine. I, I mean, I bought my own watch too. I have my own watch and everything. Which but, one? Uh, it's an AP. Oh, nice. Let me. Yeah. It's a uh, uh, you're wearing AP too, right? Look, yeah. That's the that's really the one I was gonna get, but then I got the the black version of that black the face. The black face is probably better. It I is for me. I, I, the Bro, one but, I, more the, I wanted to get the white face. That's, that's the one I wanted, but everyone <laughs> told me black face. Yeah, black face. It's it's a bit more like. I feel expensive. like it's ba basic, no? I think it goes a bit more expensive, but yeah, everyone has a black one. I like the white one because it's pretty like. I like uh, the white one more, but it's I, pretty classy. I, I, I got peer pressure into getting the black, but. Yeah, the more younger and hip people like the like the, uh, black face more, you know. Yeah. But this one, has, this one just has it like, it just holds a place in my heart. So yeah, it's sentimental. Yeah, you, have, you buy cars? Cars? Do not have a car. I just learned how to drive like two months ago. So you get Urus? Huh? Lambo truck? Nah, fuck no! I hate that car. <laughs> I want to get, I want to get a Huracan. Oh, nice. Huracan. But I don't trust you driving a Huracan, man. I think you're gonna crash. Bro, but also you have a big. I know. Group. I drove one of them. I went on a in, in uh, Vegas. I went on a racetrack, and then I was driving it. This is the best experience of my life, bro. So much fun. Yeah, bro. but you have a big crew. How are you gonna drive a like two seater? Man, bro? Uh, fuck the put them in a taxi. Them, I just wanna, put them in a taxi. Man, yeah, yes, bro. They're following an Uber behind me, bro. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, bro. I just yeah. wanna enjoy it, man. It's a supercar, so fun, bro. Yeah. Are you into? So you buy a Huracan? What else would you buy? Do you buy for any? Want, do you buy any for family cars? Not yet. They don't, they, they, but they don't need it. Like they're they're good, they're good. bro. They already have their own shit. So it's like it's like I mean, I'll buy my mom like a, a nice purse or some shit. But like they don't really need anything. Like they're they're and they're not even needy at all. They don't they don't. So all your money just straight into real estate. Everything, bro. Everything yeah. gets invested. Are you afraid of death? And do you think you'll go anywhere and you die? I'm definitely I'm definitely scared of death. Yeah. I'm definitely scared of death. I mean, as Muslims are supposed to believe, like like you know we like with well, the day of judgment and everything, yeah, and then exactly. heaven and hell. I mean, I believe in that. But it's just like what happens right when you die. Like I just. Definitely something that scares me. And like, yeah. what am I doing all this for? I'm gonna die one day. Like, it doesn't matter. But if you could have a crystal ball, and it tells you any truth about any one thing, your it could be like your family, like when you're when when you can ask when your mom is gonna pass away, or you could ask like any one question to reveal the truth. What would you ask? The future. Damn, you have life. some good ass questions, bro. Yeah, it's a deep one. You could ask something about yourself, like who you are as a person. But only one question. Like a yes or no answer? Or no, no, it could be. Okay, well, I genuinely want to know where I, where I will be in 10 years from now. Because I have no idea, bro. I don't know where I'm going to be. I don't know what I'm, I'm going to I don't know what type of person. I don't know if I'm going to be alive. Like, yeah, it's just. What are the answers like uh, homeless under a bridge? Bro, I would be like, damn, I <laughs> expected that, that shit out of me, bro. I, I, probably, I probably spent all my money after I invested it all. I fell off. Like, no. I don't know, bro. But no, nah, I, I, that's something I, I don't know where I'm going to be, bro. Because my yeah. life changes year by year by year crazily, bro. Like a year ago, I was with my mom, like just sitting in my room all day. I would not leave my room for any, like at all. Just be in my room all day playing video games. And now I'm like traveling, meeting people, doing all this shit, like living life. Yeah. So it's, it's just so different, bro. I have no idea where I'm going to be. And I, I want to know, but. Yeah. Neon, 
Mikhail, thank you so much for being here. I really thank appreciate you for having it, bro. me, bro. It's been a pleasure. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you watched it to the end, leave a like, comment. Check out Mikhail Neon on all the socials. I'll leave all the links below. His Instagram. You need to run up his Instagram because it's slacking, guys. But yeah, bro. So run up his Instagram. I got to post too. I haven't posted in like months, bro. Like, bro, just have one of these. Like get your best clipper. Mm -hmm. to give him like, there's an app you can use that they get access to your Instagram without having the actual password. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, get you, I'll tell you the name of it. I'm, my, my producer has it. And wow. then you have like your best clipper, just I put a bunch of clips on Instagram. So you're on reels, right? Yeah, let's yeah I did not know that. Real. Damn, you yeah. learned yeah. learned from me every day. Thank you, bro. All right. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Take care.